In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and run ElectroServer 5 locally. To install it, first you'll need to download ElectroServer 5, and you can do that from electrotank.com slash resources slash downloads.html. And on this page, you will see the latest version of ElectroServer 5. I'm going to install ElectroServer 5.0.1. And you can see here that there's installers for various operating systems. I'm on Windows 7 64-bit, so that's the one I'm going to install. Uh, there's an online installer and offline. The online installer allows you to download a small initial file and select which added components you want to download with it while you're installing. Uh, the offline installer uh, just allows you to download everything in one bigger file at once. So I'm going to select the online install. <clears throat> See, it, it downloaded quickly. I'm going to run this. And it's initializing the ElectroServer 5 installer. So I just click Next read <laughs> the EULA and accept click next and um, you can select where you want to install ElectroServer 5 I, I usually install mine right on uh, uh, the C drive here so you can see I already have this selected um, but you can browse to any location so I'm going to install it as ElectroServer 5 uh, ElectroServer underscore 5 underscore zero underscore one so that when I install other versions of ElectroServer later uh, they can all have their own unique directory and I don't have to overwrite any of them. On this screen you are able to select which added components you would like to uh, download and in install with the ElectroServer 5 install. By default everything is selected. Um, really um, all you really need just for the server would be uh, this bottom one here, ElectroServer 5. Um, but you'd want to have the ES admin with it so that you can configure the server. And then if you're a developer and you're installing this locally, it's likely that you'd want the examples, manual, API docs, and other documentation um, all installed with it as well. But if you're installing this remotely on, a, on some other machine, um, where you're not going to be doing the development, then you'd probably just want the admin and the server. So I'm going to install everything and um, just leave all of these defaults as as is. And we'll come back here after it's done installing. Okay, Electro Server 5 is now finished installing. So I'm going to just close out of the installer here by clicking finish and I'm going to browse the install directory. So I have it installed here on the C drive in the directory electroserver underscore five underscore zero underscore one. And in here you'll see there are two exes. Uh, double clicking either one of these will launch electroserver. Uh, but this first one will launch it in a headless mode and uh, when it's launched in, in that way you won't see a console um, and you'll have to actually look for the log files to uh, inspect anything that's that's logged um, and in order to turn off Electro Server you'll have to log in with the admin and then have it um, use the admin to shut it down if on the other hand you launch Electro Server uh, the safe mode version, it will launch and you'll see a console window and uh, as long as that console window is open the server is running so when you want to close the server you could just um, close out of the console window and it'll just shut off. And in this mode if a server error occurs or or um, a server extension uh, logs something it, it'll show up in the console. So I'm going to launch it in safe mode. So Electro Server 5 just uh, was launched in safe mode here. You can see the console. Um, 
And as long as this console window is open, Electro Server will stay running. Um, all right, so uh, let's just really quickly look at um, the admin. Um, that's the admin is really uh, in depth and is something for uh, to really get into in, in another tutorial. But I'll just show you really quickly here um, how to log in using the admin. So uh, I clicked uh, uh, to go into the admin directory, and you see there's two files in here. Um, one is a .air file, and the other is a folder. Um, the error, uh, the, the the folder here is uh, gives you access to a web-based administrator. It's just, just a, a Flash application that'll run in the web page, and the error application here um, is the same application, j just um, installable as the error runtime. Uh, so you can use this, um, you know, as a desktop application. Um, so let's uh, let's launch the web page and log in here. Okay, so um, you're able to, on the left, um, add as many servers as you want. So from this one application you could um, you could you could add uh, login information for a bunch of different installations of Electra server and and then you can you know select whichever one you want to uh, log into and then uh, you know, log in. So localhost is the one that's uh, part of the install here. Um, uh, this configuration is. And since I've already logged in, it's got my information saved, but um, you can you can see here, uh, if you click edit button, you could edit it. The default username and password are administrator and then just password. So you can log in um, with a fresh install with administrator and password. So I'm going to click save and log in here. And you can see this is the main uh, screen of the admin. And there's a bunch of different tabs here for server monitoring, management, um, user permissions, chat filters, server extensions, persistent rooms. Uh, so these are all things that we'll get into um, in another tutorial. Uh, but um, just in case you decided to start Electra server in uh, the headless mode, uh, you'll need to know how to shut it down. So you can do that through this admin here by going to server management and then there's restart and shut down. Click on that and then just click shut down server. You do that, it logs you out and the server is shut down. So once again, we'll, we'll get more into this in a, in a future tutorial.